Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys saw a video a few months back and also I posted on Instagram, um, you will know that I had a surgery and had to be admitted to the hospital and then had another surgery because of complications and was admitted to the hospital. Um, so I'll link that video down below if you don't know what I'm talking about. But a lot of you guys have been asking me about the diagnosis from the mass that was removed during the surgery. And I'm sorry I didn't get to this video before. I just wasn't expecting to have so many people so concerned for me. So I want to say thank you guys so much. It is amazing to me. It means so much to me that, you know, you guys care so much about what happens to me and my health um so i'm really truly humbled about that so it's late but i figured i would make this video for you guys because i have been getting a lot of questions about it and i just want to put it all out there for you so um in the video that i posted i mentioned how I had a mass removed and the doctor was not aware of what it was so she was sending it to a lab to get tested and that it um, it came back negative so it's just this is why I needed time I just had so many emotions going on you know here I was preparing for possibly a journey with cancer and chemo and didn't really know what to expect and um, I've really just been spending a lot of time with my kids right now and just super grateful for life in general. Um, that being said, after going through that whole really scary experience, um, I still have some of the aftermath going on. It's been, let's see, four months. Um, next week will be five months since I had my surgery, and I'm still in pain. Um, there's still pain, which is frustrating, but I'm just so grateful that it's not anything more severe than that. I can deal with the pain knowing that, you know, I don't have anything more severe ahead of me right now. Um, that being said, I have gone to a lot of doctors right now to get um, just everything checked out after going through an experience like that. I just want to make sure that everything is okay with my body. Um, I. You know, being a mom, you put yourself on the back burner a lot. And with Liam having therapy four days out of the week and other doctor's appointments plus school, and then I have two other children who I also have to worry about their health and everything else that, you know, moms have to do, I haven't been to the doctor. Um, I had a heart surgery when I was about two years old and I'm supposed to see a cardiologist every year just to check and make sure that everything is still okay with my heart and I haven't gone for almost like probably 10 years so I have an appointment set up for that just to make sure that everything is going okay um, I haven't had any issues or anything like that to be concerned with but again I'd rather be safe than sorry also I do have another lump that was found and um, I feel more confident about this one, so I'm trying not to worry because the doctor said it's probably nothing. And um, I do need to go and get it checked and then removed. This one I don't think needs to be done at the hospital, they said. Um, but <laughs> I'll keep you guys updated on that. and. I'll make sure to let you guys know like sooner, but um, they said that it most likely isn't cancerous. That they would have done like a biopsy and taken a piece of that lump out. Um, if it was like really serious, they would have had it done right away. They're pretty sure it's um, benign. So 
I do have to get that taken care of as well. But yeah, that is everything that's been going on. So thank you guys so much for all of your thoughts and prayers. You guys are just blowing me away. In other news, I really am ready to start like focusing more on my YouTube channel. My son is back in school and I have Jackson and Gracie going to daycare part-time um, because I'm also taking a full schedule of classes this semester. So I just want to dive right in and I am going to commit to doing three videos a week now and I want to try to do more cleaning videos because you guys are really liking those and I haven't posted anything autism related for a while and I know there's a lot of you guys who are following me um, because of my autism videos. So I think I want to have like probably Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule worked out and make one of those days every week like try to be dedicated to like an autism video and the other ones just kind of be floaters probably like a cleaning video and then something fun or a vlog or let me know what you guys want to see um in the comments or send me a message on instagram i'd really love to make videos that you guys are looking for um so keep an eye out for that i will have a video going up soon i have two different autism videos already filmed that i'm going to be posting for you guys um I know one of the things that I get a lot of questions about are how I potty trained Liam and also his gluten-free and casein-free diet um, and also any food tips for like when you have trouble with trying to get them to eat. So I'm going to be making videos on those as well. Let me know if there's anything more specific that you guys would like to see thank you guys so much for sticking around with me and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe i'm gonna have so much more videos coming up that i've already planned out and i'm really excited for you guys to see what i have thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye